Now we're working on our welt pocket. Um, it's a little pocket that sits up on the chest. Um, we have a drill hole here and here. They're just on the left hand side as worn. Um, take this away. We've got our welt. I have to bag out these sides. So it's different to the jet on the bottom there where we just folded the jet over and stitched it on. This one we actually need to bag up the sides because it will sit on top rather than in, within a seam. Going to bag out the sides, um, six millimeter seam allowance, both ends. I always start from the open end, going up. And then I'm cutting my seam allowance down from the um, fold on an angle, same here. It just um, is easier to turn over. I turn this over. Use my clippers to really get the corner out. You can see how different that is. And now we have our welt pocket. As you can see, one part's pointing up. That's the part that's going to face into the armhole. Before we attach it though, we need to press it flat and then we can start attaching the welt. As I said earlier, that point goes into the armhole. So this is where our um, welt will sit. So fold that down and uh, place the raw edge along this line from um, drill hole to drill hole. And you can see the drill hole sits a bit further in from either side. So place that on pin and I can stitch my welt down, the six millimeter seam allowance, right from the edge, back tack. And we have attached the welt and we're now going to focus on our pocket bag and the opening. I've got my pocket facing here, so that's the one that sits in here. This side will get the pocket um, lining attached, whilst this one up here will have the pocket facing. So when we look inside, we only see the denim. So what I'm going to do is fold that up. I've got my notches here. That's the width of my um, welt. I'm going to pin that on. Now when I fold my welt up, you can see it comes up in an angle and I need to mark this on my, I can do it with chalk, I need to mark it on my pocket. So this is where my welt will sit, however the seam in here we want that a bit further in so it doesn't show on the sides. So we're going to just give ourselves about three, four millimetres either side of the pocket bag and that's where we're going to stitch from here to here. Seam allowance once again is six millimetres. Back tuck. Back tuck. So you can see I stopped before the blue marking line because now our opening will sit a bit further in and it won't be in the way from the welt. Now it's the same thing as with the double jet. We need to cut this open in the middle. And then we need to cut into the corners. The difference to the double jet is that this is not on a right angle but everything's pretty much the same. So I'm going to cut in. It's easier for me to cut on this side. Just 
stop beforehand and then really clip into the corner of the welt, into the corner of my pocket, or pocket facing, same on this side. And that's what it looks like from this side. Now we'll have to attach the pocket lining onto the welt and we want that to be going straight down. As you can see, if I would have it this way, it will go into the body like that on an angle, would be wrong. So I would have to place it like that. I've got my notches on either side. can pin it on. Turn it over and stitch on the bottom line again. Don't go over your stitching line. Really start where that stitching line is and I've just gone over by one stitch. Just so if that happens, you just have to unpick that little bit, making sure that this is not coming undone. But that's all nice and secure. Now we're going to fold the pocket on the inside. We'll turn it over. And we're going to press the pocket lining. And the pocket facing. And we turn it back over again. I'm just going to press the corner here so you can see how that sits kind of on an angle going in so to accommodate that welt and that welt is sitting on top. So our next step would be stitching the corners again and then attaching the welt and then closing the bag and we're done. Now I fold my welt down, fold this over, I'm going to stitch this corner, that triangle again. It's a little bit trickier than on a double jet because you have the bulk of the welt on the bottom here. Push this out, now the other side. So if you're not sure, just draw in a line with pencil or chalk. Back tack. And we've stitched um, the corners down. Now we can put a pin into our welt so it's closed and we can top stitch the sides down. Top stitching the corners of the welt. Back tack from that seam where the welt is attached to the corner of the welt. Back tack. You could also blind stitch this on by hand so you wouldn't have a stitching line. Same thing here. Back tuck both ends. This just needs a good press. But before we do that we can close our pocket bag on this side and it's the same as with the 
jet, the double jet, pin your pocket bag, and you can stitch at two going all the way around or the 1.2 again which I'm going to do. Got your pocket bag and your welt, which I'm giving a good press and then we can have another look at it. Now we're going to press our pocket on the right side. Really press those corners. If you're worried about your cloth, put a um, bit of calico on top so it doesn't make any shiny marks. You can press that as well on this side again. Do the same on your jet. And we have two beautiful pockets. Our welt and our double jet. Mm -hmm.